What's up, comic fam? Comic fans, and it's time for the previews of the comic books coming out this week. It's time for the previews of the books coming out July 27th, 26th. If you're a DC fan, most shops will be releasing them on a Tuesday. Everyone else, Wednesday. So we're going to get into the books. We're getting into the spec. We're going to get into the spotlight book. And we're going to do all this right after that. Spartans, what is your profession? Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. And uh, if you can do me a favor, be so kind as to please subscribe, hit the notification bell, go ahead and throw me a thumbs up, comment down below. Let's do what we do. We're going to start off with the spec books. We got Amazing Spider-Man number six. This is also Amazing Spider-Man legacy number 900. Here we go. All right, and why are we interested in this book as a spec book? There's the Sinister Adaptoid, all right? Um, you know, spec is always just a guessing game, and I'm guessing this book is selling pre-sale very well because, uh, well, some stores like T-Fall over here, Things for Another World, already have it sold out, all right? So the main thing is we have a first appearance, possible first appearance, of a character called the Adaptoid. It also could be a rehashing of a previous character called the Adaptoid. But we're hoping that this is a new character. Also, you got the milestone issue, number 900. Now, I don't like to go crazy with these milestone issues because they already have a cover price of 10 bucks. In terms of depreciation, they'll usually keep their value especially these milestone books, but I don't often see them going through the roof. So I'm just going to do a quick search for the other books, the other uh, covers. And what we have here is we have a 1 in 25. So that's pretty awesome. And this seems to be going for uh, like about 15 bucks, so a little less than ratio. Anywhere from 15 to 30 bucks, depending on where you get it. And then the other one I'm looking at is the one in 50. And I really like this one. I really like the one in 50 because it's got the 900 on the cover. So for that reason, I really like this book. But I can go on and on and on about Spider-Man. Big Spider-Man fan. This is legacy number 900. Also, issue number 6. Alright, let's check out the other spec book this week. We have Strange number 4. And what is the deal with Strange number 4? Well, we have Shadow Knight. The reintroduction of dark of the dark moon knight i believe he was last seen in like hulk number 17 like volume one if i'm correct could be totally off the rails there with that one but um you know with the disney plus show moon knight doing so well i figure this is you know at least a decent book to take a chance on seeing as this is like the antithesis of of Moon Knight, you know, um, and this could very well easily lend itself to any kind of project in the future. Another Disney Plus show, why, why wouldn't you have Moon Knight versus Shadow Knight, the antithesis? So it's it's not a horrible book to take a chance on for spec purposes. All right, so uh, let's just move on. Let's get to the spotlight book, and this week's spotlight book is cover based sometimes i do stories sometimes i do covers and this is a cover this is bill sankiewicz at his best i mean just that's just a dope cover and this is batman one dark knight number three yeah look at that cover ah man so that is my spotlight book this is a book by jock but you got bill sankiewicz on the B cover. Here's the A cover, just to show you. Not, you know, not spotlighting this one, but it's still a dope cover in its own right. That's Jock right there. 
That's that Batman has seen some things. He's seen some things. All right, but this is the cover, the Bill Sienkiewicz cover. This is the one that I am spotlighting right here. And that is a beauty. That is a beauty. Let's get into the rest of the books coming out this week from Image. Uh, Beware the Eye of Odin number two is out. I read number one. I thought this was a nice quirky, uh, like adventure type of story. Doug Wagner's writing this. I think it's uh, it's worth a look, especially if you're into like you know D and D or fantasy. It's a really fun book. All right. We're just gonna scroll through what else Image has coming out. Gunslinger gets a volume one trade paperback. All right, I hate this place and I love the uh, the explicit cover. Hmm. F this place. Magic Order number three is out. I feel like Magic Order number two just kind of wrapped up a couple weeks ago, but they're gonna keep pumping this out. This is uh, bound for Netflix at some point. Maybe, if it ever gets off the ground, but it is definitely a Netflix property at the moment. You got Radiant Black and Radiant Red, or part of that Radiant Black universe, the Radiant universe, uh, and Scorched. You got that Spawn Scorched coming out. Boom, Studios, boom. Here comes the boom. You got House of Slaughter number seven, all right? And there is a polybagged, uh, see, put them in a body bag. It's a body bag. Um, it won't be uh, available to be viewed until uh, Wednesday. And then you'll be able to see what's in the bag. I'm sure somebody else out there has already seen what's in the bag. I've heard good things about Magic the Gathering comic. Uh, I have not read one, but I've heard they're pretty good. Uh, Something is Killing the Children, number 25. I believe this is like a 40-page uh, landmark or milestone issue, right? 25 issues in to Something is Killing the Children. That's pretty big for an indie comic. All right, and we only find them when they're dead. Hits number 12. All right, we're at Dark Horse. Not a lot coming out from Dark Horse this week, but we got a few things. We got Jenny Zero, we got Pearl. And uh, yeah, we're at IDW. All right, Kanto, love that little guy. He's coming out with Kanto's. Kanto, Tales of the Unnamed World, number two. So I will definitely be picking that up, this little guy is the best and right now he's trying to cross a bridge and he's telling some tales to try to get across that bridge and we'll see if that cat guy lets him by that rhymed all right and you also got your tmnt and your sonic the hedgehog transformers gets a trade this week from idw we're at dc comics now what do you got from dc obviously you got your superman you got your aquaman and then you got a lot of Batman, including that cover that we just talked about as the spotlight book of the week. Look at that. That is beautiful. Beautiful. And we're just going to keep going. You got DC Mech number one. I mean, this is a really cool cover. All right. And I think this is, um, I'm trying to remember who did that cover. It, uh, maybe it'll come to me. Dan Mora. I think Dan Mora did this cover. Don't hold me to it, but I believe this is a Dan Mora cover. So that's a cool cover. I don't know if I'm going to be investing in this series, but, you know, we'll see. Maybe I'll flip through the pages and, and I'll choose it. <laughs> All right. We're going to keep going. Keep moving, 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 moving keep rolling 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 you got suicide squad you got task force z what's better dc vampires or these dc zombies i don't know let me know hit me up all right we got asm number six and like we said this is legacy number 900 time to get excited but um look at all these covers there are a ton of covers right you got bagley who's had a big history with spider-man um we got Ed McGuinness, Peach Momoko, Humberto Ramos, obviously. There's going to be a Scotty Young variant. And then there is, you know, this this is the one you see it says ordered. I'm trying to get that one at 50 just because it has the 900 right on the cover. That is, that is what I'm looking for. I'm looking for that 900. So that is dope. All right, let's keep it going. Let's keep it moving. Let's go. We got to go faster. Ant-Man number one is coming out. And this is, uh, you know, Hank Pym 
and Janet Van Dyne. This, that's supposed to focus on them. All right, we're gonna keep it moving. We're gonna keep it rolling. Gambit number one comes out. He's got his own. And The Woman Without Fear gets a trade paperback. Electro over there. Genesis Bell coming out. Peter David's writing that. That's Captain Marvel. Iron Cat number two. I really enjoyed reading the first issue. And then Dr. Afra going through her trials and tribulations. That's a really good series. Obi-Wan is on issue three of five. Don't forget they got those lightsaber um, alternate covers, variant covers. Strange number four, which we talked about over there with your uh, Shadow Knight appearance, reintroduction of the Shadow Knight. Bedlam gets revealed who's Bedlam in Venom number nine. So you got that. You got wild cards. That's uh, J.R.R. Martin or George R.R. R. Martin. Did I say J.R.? George R.R. R. Martin. And that that's a, that's a that comic's been around for a while. It's actually a bigger property than just comics. All right. And now we're at Dynamite. And always a ton of covers from Dynamite. So pick the cover you like the best. And uh, yeah, get it. There's always a lot. There's cosplay covers and like a ton of other covers from different artists. They just pump out the covers. And then they got blank covers. Look at that. Black and red. Some Diamond Select toys coming out this week. A lot of Star Wars. And now we're on to the rest of the books, guys. If I missed anything, always let me know. If there's something like, you need to highlight that, man. Don't be afraid. Hit me up. Let me know. Also, if you think there's something I should read, just, just tell me to read it, and I will. So, yeah, thanks for joining me. If you stayed this long, uh, hopefully you uh, you know got some information that will help you make informed decisions as to what comics you want to pick up this week. You know, buy what you like, like what you buy, believe uh, Slim Comics, and more. That's his tagline. Hopefully I said it right. <laughs> so shout out to Slim Comics and more. But yeah, you know, you gotta you gotta like what you're getting, you know. Unless this is a business for you. Then do whatever you gotta do to survive. Nottingham is on issue nine of ten. This started off as a five issue series and just exploded. People love Nottingham. It's a pretty good read. I have to catch up to it though. I'm not all the way up to nine. I think I'm up to issue six. And here we go. We're getting towards the end, guys. So, ooh, Smurfs. Yeah, all right. Yep, yep. So we're getting towards the end. So again, guys, don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Go ahead and throw me a thumbs up. Comment down below. Be so kind as to do that, if, especially if you enjoyed the content. If you didn't like the content, let me know why you didn't enjoy it. Let me know why, and then I'll try to fix it. All right, unless it's my face, can't fix that. <laughs> All right, comic fam, comic fans, do what you do. I'ma do what I do. I'ma get ready for this week's books. Peace.